Good morning traders, this is Michael coming to you from Game Edge on Monday, August 21st. We're going to go ahead and look at the uh, market structure, we'll take a look at the tick and uh, kind of discuss the uh, outlook for this week for our pre-market uh, strategy session. Unlock your potential with a comprehensive suite of investing tools and expert education with Gamma Edge. Start your free 14-day trial today. And so we'll go ahead and jump right into it with the SPX uh, PM settled. Uh, all expiries turned on. Um, in the money out of the money call dominated. As you can see, um, 4350 to the downside, 4300, uh, two extremely important levels. We see the wide and loose uh, transition above us starting at 4390. Uh, definitely be cognizant of that as we move up towards that level. And then 4400, we actually saw <clears throat> some calls go in on Friday at the 4400 level, but still not able to overcome the uh, puts that are in the money there. Uh, spot price here closed at 4370. We had some pre market gains, and then we we're uh, kind of uh, rescinding and losing those pre market gains. So, again, 4350 on the downside, extremely important. 4325 and then 4300, significant amount of liquidity and OI um, there uh, in the money now, the money put dominated. So, um, still a very weak structure. Uh, I would anticipate more weakness um, for the week unless we start to see some targeting above some erosion of these puts above us and start moving uh, above the uh, transition levels that's noted here for the uh, PM settle. Uh, zero DT, uh, narrow transition, which is nice. That gives us a good structure to look at. Uh, we do have some in the money calls below us. Not a significant amount, uh, but could be supportive, at least on a zero DT time frame. Uh, 43.50 again to the downside. Uh, confluence between the uh, all expires and zero DT and then 43.25 here. Again, uh, put dominated above us. Uh, if we start to see price move up and closing of these puts or erosion due to zero DT, uh, possibility to move up towards this 4400 level, I'd look for stalling in that area first. And then really not much targeting above this 4430. Um, that would be a stretch, but uh, as you can see, really not much above that um, as we uh, continue to move up through this uh, put dominated environment. Again, transition very well defined. We need to get above 4380 and hold which is the entrance, start moving into this area, and then 4,395 to 4,400 to get above and hold. Price needs to stay up above that level um, for us to start moving up towards uh, 4,430. Uh, so very well defined, narrow transition, which is nice, gives us if this, then this statements uh, for today. So we'll see how the uh, vol U and vol D command look throughout the day for targeting. But uh, as of now, this looks to be a little bit supportive on the downside, uh, but still uh, significant puts above us uh, dominating the uh, complex. Uh, 363,000 OI, so a decent amount of OI to come off today. 0.89% 0 .9, 0 expected move. Uh, that would run us right up above uh, 4,400, around 4,410, or to the downside, uh, 4,325. Uh, here we go, plus one DTE. Again, transition, broken, a little bit of a broken structure. Again, 4,350 on the downside, 4,300 here. We'll look at this transition at 4375 and then 4400 to the upside. That gives you a good confluence between the zero DT we we're looking at and uh, the plus one DT. So you can see significant targeting for 4350 and 4300 on the plus one DT. Uh, OI is a little bit lacking, so we'll see if that changes throughout the day, but gives you a good uh, area for the downside to be watching uh, for uh, some areas uh, of price action and again transition here. Um, Balance of the week, obviously still in the money and out of the money put dominated. Really, we've had a significant erosion of the calls below us that were there uh, last week. So again, 4350, 4300 on the downside, then transition there, 4390 to 4400. So again, that 4400 becomes an important um, level to the upside. Again, puts uh, in the money uh, puts above us. So we'd have to see those start to erode and start closing. Significant, significant amount of expiry into Friday for this week. Uh, so we'll see if positioning today uh, kind of sets the course for the rest of the week. Uh, but again, in the money and out of the money put dominated. So understand that um, it is still a very weak structure unless we start to see mechanical closing and targeting of calls above us and erosion of these puts as we continue to move up. Um, so spot price there at 43.70 really stuck between transition and 43.50. We did hit 43.30 last week for the low. Uh, so then that 43.30 and 43.25 will be important if we start heading back down toward that on a technical level and a, a gamma level both. Um, landscape view, obviously you see where negative, get, neg negative gex comes in, negative trans comes in, a significant amount of puts here. This is all expiry SPXP, uh, not a lot of calls on the upside. Again, put dominated, very well uh, defined uh, by the uh, 
by the puts here on the landscape view um, all the way down really to 4300 uh, would be negative gex down here which is pretty important in between uh, 4320 and 4290 uh, so we'll watch how that changes throughout the week uh, for all expiries here but again totally put dominated um, here is the uh, combo complex again wide and loose transition uh, 4390 would be that bottom of that transition 4400 as we discussed for the SPXP so moving up to that level would be kind of the first step for uh, the bulls to get above 43.9 to 4400 start to see mechanical closing you can see up here in significant amount of in the money puts above us uh, honestly all the way up to 4450 4460 and 4475 again this is all expiries here 0.93 percent uh, expected move so within that one percent but 4350 4300 on the downside uh, being you know significantly targeted also so those would be the stopping points that I'd originally look for and first look for as we uh, start to move down Landscape view for a combo complex, again, put dominated. We still see plus gex up here though, so we still have some call speculators continuing up here, but a significant amount of puts below us. Um, this can provide supportive type demand action also, um, so it doesn't have to be a bearish look, but if we start moving negative gex down and targeting further below this 4300, um, then I would definitely be looking for more weakness to the downside, but as of now, that 4300 seems to be 4300 to 4350 seems to be a significant level below us that's uh, allowing us support so far and demand type action so we'll see how price reacts there um, but again uh, put dominated uh, should be your tldr takeaway um, could be more weakness this week uh, obviously a couple caveats we talked about on open mic was uh, the gex ratio is getting stretched to the downside at uh, 0.5 on spy um, historically around 0.6 is where um, we start to see a um, positive possible outcome of getting ready to go long. So we'll see how that reacts. But again, we can stay low for quite some time, the GEX ratio. So just understand that uh, we may have some relief bounces within this week or into the, into the week, uh, obviously up to 4,400 or 4,450 in the overall downtrend. Uh, they may just be short lived and then uh, puts can come back in after we get that relief. So we'll just see how the targeting looks and how the uh, structure looks on the web app for the week. So again, tick. Uh, we did start to consolidate on Friday. Um, really no significant buying into the close. That was just uh, most likely um, expiry uh, of puts and then mechanical uh, purchasing by uh, dealers um, as those puts closed out. Uh, again, tick consolidating sideways uh, below the moving averages and our ribbon colored ribbon with negative slope, red below cyan, so market model is turned off. So what we, the first steps we would need to see is the bolded CT would need to start getting back above the shortest term moving average, uh, start getting us a positive slope back to the upside and then start going into the colored ribbon and getting above the cyan line. Uh, unless that happens, then I would look for more weakness to the downside, uh, continued selling, uh, obviously maybe 4325 to 4300 would give us some sort of uh, consolidation on the uh, tick and then start moving back to the upside. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out today. Uh, ARCX again, significant slope to the downside on the uh, colored ribbon, which is market model turned off, red below cyan. Uh, bolded white CT just barely started to consolidate. Uh, so again, the first step would be closing above the previous day close, uh, which would be right here. So we need to see CT at least close above here, start getting above these uh, shortest term moving averages. So what we are seeing compression in the shortest term moving averages which gives you an idea that we could go either direction, back up or back to the downside. So we'll see how that plays out uh, today. Uh, Pre-market, we were gapped up. It seems like we've given back almost all those gains, uh, except for this gap right here. So we're almost back to pre-market lows. Uh, that's kind of more of a weak look for the market and a bearish stance. Obviously, you want to see the market gap up and close on the highs instead of gap up, sell off throughout the day, and then close back on the lows. So we'll see how this um, plays out for the rest of the day. Tesla and NVIDIA gapping up. I think NVIDIA has earnings this week. Is that, I can't remember if that's correct. I'll have to look on that. But uh, we do have Jackson Hole. Uh, we do have um, some other significant um, uh, market uh, news uh, and some econ news coming uh, through this week. So we'll be able to be cognizant of what days those are on. I uh, posted those above. I'll repost those. Um, but obviously Jackson Hole this week, um, whatever commentary comes out of there could be could be market moving. Uh, obviously, we'll be watching VIX uh, spiked up to 20-ish um, um, last week, which was usually historically where we started to see some consolidation. 
actually had spike up to 18, but 20 historically has been an area where uh, we'd started to see some pullback in that. So we'll see how VIX reacts uh, act, reacts today, see if volatility starts to uh, come out a little bit and uh, dampen a little bit, which may allow us a uh, possibility to move back to the upside. So that's kind of what I watched for the day. Hopefully it helps everybody. Uh, we'll see you in the Discord in a few minutes. Uh, again, still weak market structure, weak tick. Um, so I'd be anticipating uh, more downside unless we see a total sentiment market structure change uh, for this week. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.